In this video, I'll describe an application of the chain rule called implicit differentiation. Here are the main points will be addressed in the video. Implicit differentiation is a procedure which can be used as long as y is locally a function of x. If we treat y as a function of x locally, we can use the chain rule to take the derivative of both sides of an equation with respect to x. For example, if we see y squared in an equation, the derivative with respect to x would be 2y times y prime due to the chain rule. Here's a graph of y equals f of x at a point on the graph. And here's a line that is tangent to the f at that point. How would we go about finding the slope of this tangent line? At this point, the slope of tangent line is the ratio of tiny change in y to a tiny change in x. In order for this to work, we need to make sure that if we zoom in near that point that we're interested in, that the graph looks very close to a straight line. So the slope of our tangent line matches the slope of the function at that point. Let's think about how this works in a slightly more complicated situation. Here's a circle with a radius r. The formula for relation between x and r is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is a constant number. You probably notice that this is not a function. For example, when x equals 0, there are two corresponding y values. Therefore, this is not a function. However, if we zoom in in one point, on this small section of graph, y is a function of x. So let's rewrite this y as explicitly a function of x. And now we can compute the derivative by taking the derivative of each term in this expression. Let's think about how we can work this out. If you look at the first term, the derivative of x squared with respect to x is just 2x. If you look at the last term, since r is a constant number, its derivative is 0. Now let's think about the term in the middle. It actually looks like a composition of functions, where the outer function is x squared, and the argument, the inner function, is f of x. So using the chain rule, the derivative of this term is 2 times f of x times the derivative of f of x. What we just did here was a technique called implicit differentiation, where we used the chain rule without having an explicit formula for f of x. Putting this together, we have 2x plus 2f of x times f prime of x, f of x equals 0. We can do more some algebra and we will get that f prime of f of x, f prime of x equals negative x over f of x. We also could have used slightly different notation. Instead of using f of x, we could have used the symbol y, giving us y prime equals negative x over y. Let's try this out in the circle. Here is our circle. And we just figured out that the slope of tangent line to the circle is given by the formula negative x divided by y. So how about the tangent line at this point, which has the coordinate 0, r? Our formula says that the slope of this tangent line should be negative 1 times x coordinate, 0, divided by y coordinate, r, which equals 0. And this computation matches what we can see in the graph that the tangent line should be horizontal and slope of horizontal line is zero. What about another point? How about the point r comma zero? Our formula says the slope of this tangent line should be negative one times x divided by y coordinate, which is zero. Since the denominator is zero, the slope is undefined which matches what we can see in the graph, that the tangent line should be vertical, and slope of a vertical line is undefined. Let's look at it one more point. 
How about 2 comma root 12? This tensor line is not horizontal nor vertical. It looks like it has a slope of roughly negative 1 half. Our formula says that the slope of tangent line should be negative 1 times x coordinate, so negative 2, divided by y coordinate, root 12. This is roughly negative 0 0.58. So what we've seen here is a, is a way to find derivatives and its slope on tangent lines for relations between x and y using the techniques of implicit differentiation. So let's look at some more examples. So in, in this section, we'll look at a tangent line for a special kind of shape. You may have looked into a cup of coffee or hot chocolate and noticed how the light forms interesting patterns as it reflects of the mug. The general shape for the name for this general shape is called cardioid, named for its heart-like shape. The cardioid shapes can be constructed mathematically by making one circle rotate around another and tracing the path on the circumference of the rotating circle. Let's take a look at a particular cardioid. We're going to consider a part particular case of the cardioid, given by the equation shown here. Our goal here is to find the slope of the tensor line to the curve at point 0, 1.2. That is slope of this line right here. We can see from here that we're not working with a function. For example, when x equals 0, there are three y values on this graph. So we won't be able to take the equation and just rewrite it as y equals something. But if we zoom in on the point of tangency, now this looks like a function. So we can use the implicit differentiation at this point. The main change here is to compute the derivative. Let's start by working with the left hand side of the equation. This is a, a composition of two functions. The outer function is x squared, and the argument or the inner function is x squared plus y squared plus 1.2x. So we can use the chain rule, which tells us to take the derivative of outer function, then plug in the argument, and multiply by the derivative of the argument. The derivative of the x squared is 2x, so we will just multiply by the argument, x squared plus y squared plus 1.2x, and then multiply the derivative of the argument. On the right hand side of the equation, the derivative will be the coefficient, which is 1.2, multiplied by the derivative of the x squared plus y squared. Let's focus on these two derivatives. The derivative of x squared is just 2x. And the derivative of 1.2x is just 1.2. We are treating y as a function of x, even though we do not have a formula for it. So we're thinking, it, thinking of it as some f of x that is being square. To compute the derivative, we'll need to use a chain rule, which tells us that take the derivative of the outer function, then plug in the argument, and then multiply the derivative of the argument. We can use the same reasoning on the right-hand side of the equation, which gives us 2x plus 2y times y prime as the derivative. Now, putting all this together, we have this relationship. We could try solving for y prime, but that's not necessary at, at the moment. Let's try to find the slope of tangent line at 0, 1.2. The first thing we can do is to substitute 0 for x, which changes a bunch of terms to 0. Then we can substitute 1.2 for y. Finally, we can do some computation to get 2.88 times 2.5y prime plus 1.2 equals 1.2 times 2.4 times y prime. By computing like terms and doing some more computation, 
we get that y prime equals negative 0 0.86. So this is the answer to our question. The tangent line to the curve at the point 0, 0,1.2 has slope of negative, one, negative 0.86. And this is how we can use the implicit differentiation to compute the derivative of a complicated relation between two variables.